We've got the, this about three, three and a half horsepower Briggs and Stratton engine. This is the original carburetor. We haven't taken that off. We just drilled a hole here to receive our new fuel that's coming through our reactor. So there's no air going in <clears> through the carburetor? There is. There's air coming in here, but okay. it automatically takes it as it needs it. All right. So all this is is just for air now. There's well, no where's fuel. where's the carburetor? <clears throat> so the little carburetor that's running this is right here. It's a little model uh, boat carburetor off this. The wow. carburetor went right in here. Uh -huh. It runs this little boat in. You see the top of the cylinder? Real right. tiny. Right, right. And this and is what runs. What's running the if you look in there, you can see how small the right, end of that is. Right. And that's what's running this. All right. This that is just mixes just your air fuel mixture. That mixes the fuel. Your and fuel the comes air. in through your exhaust. The opposite direction your exhaust going. Your exhaust going this direction. Your fuel's coming through the middle of your exhaust, back up into here, through the back of your carburetor, your air intake, and going into your engine. Then your exhaust comes out this way and goes that direction. Okay. This was originally a dual setup. We plugged off this side and just using gas right now. All right. Okay, now we can go ahead and start it up, show you All how right. it works. Okay. All right. The exhaust stays cold. All right. So the using the other side of that reactor is how I could make my propane. You could. All right. Or my That's fuel. That's alternate fuel. Any fuel you want to use, you get creative and you can use it. Great. Okay. Thank you.